May 3rd, 2014 was the start of an adventure. My girlfriend of six years and I got hitched so we could go to the Peace Corps together in 2015, fulfilling dreams of sharing knowledge with diverse cultures and helping others around the globe. We started immediately, however, making our dreams come true. Now for a honeymoon, we slowly made our way by plane, then many hours by boat, to reach the Tamopata Research Center in the middle of the Peruvian Amazon, where we spent two months studying the not-so-elegant, yet captivating macaw species. During our research with the macaw project, we had the opportunity to see some amazing things. White caimans, jaguars, anacondas, a variety of monkeys ranging from the adorable squirrel monkey to the acrobatic spider monkey and to the lazy and intimidating howler monkey. In addition, we were able to observe hundreds of other very interesting and sometimes scary species we had never heard of before. Now this was amazing, but the most important thing we did was meet people from all over the world hearing their concern and passion for the Amazon rainforest and the global environment which we all share. The Amazon rainforest is actually the lungs of the planet. Most of what's been happening in the Amazon rainforest in the last 20 years is a serious destruction and a long-term problem that the planet is facing. Mostly our economy relies on minerals. Our communities you now we export a lot of gold, copper, silver. Gold mining and timber, I would say, are the main things that are affecting the, the Amazon right now, right? The gold mining puts a lot of mercury into the water. The gold is not in big stone, it's in sand or powder. They must use mercury to collect all together and then burn. They pollute the sky and even the, the ground. Gold mining is affecting a lot the, the Amazon because is involving a lot of destruction. Mercury, pollution, what do you call it, children, uh, prostitution. You know, it's totally, totally sad. They cut down huge trees, and all those trees support gigantic ecosystems that we still don't fully know about. Uh, Peruvians need, need to get angry, get more angry about this issue. They need to be passionate for it. Nobody's doing that. The authorities don't exist here. The authorities don't exist here, and that's we tired of that. No, Peru is number one of to produce cocaine in the world. So we have many legal plantations in the Amazon. You can see it spread out like a virus, just all these people cutting down the forest and stuff like that. By modeling the present rates of deforestation, Daniel Nepstad from the Woods Hole Research Center in Massachusetts has found that by as soon as 2050, half of the Amazon could be history. I love all this stuff out here, right? But everyone's just reproducing and consuming and destroying and pretty soon everything's going to be completely destroyed and then the humans will be destroyed as well and then something else will take over. I, I think as a species we won't realize the damage uh, we've done to the rainforest until it's much too late. It's a, a knowledge crisis because people they don't know exactly how the world works. This particular jungle is like no other and uh, I think we stand a lot to lose if, if, if it goes away. I feel you know, like I have a big responsibility. I think it's very important for everyone to recognize um, that the Amazon is such a vital necessity of our lives and hopefully we can bring some awareness towards the issues that it's currently facing. While wanting to bring awareness to these problems and others, such as the livestock, soy, and oil industries' large contribution to deforestation, we also wanted to know about potential solutions looking to preserve the Amazon. We learned that ecotourism is a large market in Peru and is growing rapidly, encouraging conservation and promoting more earth-friendly alternatives to tourism. We obtained many points of view on its effectiveness as a tool towards a sustainable future, as well as the impact it might have on local and indigenous communities, their cultures, and their future. We cannot wait to share the rest of our journey with you. Let us pause for a moment to look around.